How's it going everyone? College Lefty and in this video I'm going to be talking about the brand new World Series program that we have released in MLB The Show 20. I'm going to be going over some of my thoughts as well as a poll that I put up on Twitter. But basically we have an updated schedule here. I'll go ahead and hide the face cam and talk a little bit about what's coming out in MLB The Show. Today, of course, we have the World Series program. We have uh, the stub sale ending this week. We also have uh, the World Series program part two coming out next Friday, along with the roster update, 10th inning program, which I would think would include Willie Mays, and also the little general event, which looks to be uh, pretty interesting. Anyway, I put this poll up on Twitter asking everyone what overall grade would you give part one of the World Series program, and these results are a little bit interesting to me, right? We're only three hours into the poll. We have about 188 votes, and 74% or about 75% of the people would give this program a grade of a B or a C, and for a program that includes free cards, or at least all of these cards can be redeemable for free without completing this collection, I believe. And as we'll go through, we'll take a look at some of these uh, missions and moments in order to unlock these cards. But honestly, they are pretty low in overall. Um, I'm kind of confused. You know, none of these teams or none of these players are even playing in the World Series. Now, I understand that uh, they're going to give players throughout the postseason cards in this program. Obviously, we have five players listed here. But honestly, these attributes really don't stick out to me at all. I mean, this card is probably all right. I mean, of course, if you just got the game, he'll be good. Um, but that's what I've been saying for a lot of these recent programs, or at least content released into MLB The Show, right? It's good if you just got the game. Well, uh, most of us have not just got the game or have, you know, have been playing this game throughout the game cycle. I guess another reason why you would want to use these cards would be to create a team build or at least you know an all-time Astros team. Uh, maybe these players are some of your favorite players in MLB or in you know baseball currently. I just I just don't think that uh, this caters to the larger population in MLB The Show 20 or at least uh, people that are still playing Diamond Dynasty have been playing it throughout the year. I'm just not sure that uh, these are the best cards to select for a free program like this. I mean, I would hope to see, you know, 95 overall, 96 overall players like we saw in uh, the postseason packs. I know we had a couple guys, you know, rated at a 93 or a 94. Here we do get a 95 overall Tyler Matzik. But at the same time, I mean, uh, relievers are great. Left-handed relievers are great. There is some upside, you know, to this card and to some of these cards in this program. I just don't um, understand the order, I guess. That's probably the main thing, is I don't understand the order of which these cards came out. Uh, we saw, you know, some wild card cards. We saw some division series cards uh, that also included some 99 overall players. Then we see some CS cards, which none of which have 99 overall, even though some of those players performed better than uh, some players in the DS. So I'm just a little bit confused in the order of which they released these cards. This Chad Pinder card looks all right. I mean, uh, he has diamond defense. He plays a utility uh, position. You know, he plays a variety of positions there. Solid power against both sides. Uh, contact against right is fairly low for this point in the year, I would say. But at the same time, you know, if your favorite player is Chad Pinder, then you might want to pick this card up by grinding this program. I will not be grinding this program at all. Uh, this 99 Giancarlo Stanton is by far the best card out of this program. You know, he does have increased defense uh, from his previous card. I'll be comparing those as well. He does have uh, maxed out power against both sides and increased vision as well as speed. Uh, he does have some decreased attributes as well, though, in discipline and clutch which makes a difference in the game. Uh, it won't make it as a significant difference as it might, you know, with those defensive attributes or um, the increased vision. But at the same time, you know, the contact attribute, the power attribute is a lot more important. And as we look at this program here, I mean, uh, I would expect to see, you know, at least three more cards out of these remaining six slots. I would hope to see a few more than that. But I'm kind of wondering, you know, are they just waiting to see, you know, who gets World Series MVP? Uh, as we see here, this is coming after the World Series as it lists at the bottom. But we do have a few moments. 
Uh, we do have this collection. And as we can add up all these program stars, you can earn the Giancarlo Stanton at 50 without completing the collection. However, in order to complete this entire World Series program, you'll most likely need the collection in order to complete it. That 15 program stars will probably come into play during part two a little bit more. And we might see some fluctuation with the prices for some of those cards. But I'm really just asking you, you know, do you think this program is overall a W or an L? Um, for me, it's an L. But I kind of wanted to um, expand on that a little bit, give some more options. That's why I put an overall grade for the part one of this World Series program on Twitter as that poll. But as you can see, you know, uh, in comparison to the Giancarlo Stantons, uh, like I mentioned earlier, you know, he does have better contact against left, a few attributes boosted to contact against right, as well as the other things that I mentioned. I just don't know if it's worth it to spend some time grinding these moments. I'm sure it won't take uh, too much time. At the same time, I'm limited on time personally, but I'm not using any of that information when I'm talking about this program. I'm looking at this program as if I were to grind it out in one day uh, and unlock all of the cards if I had all the time in the world. So anyway, for the remaining portion of this video, I'm going to go ahead and hop into a game of ranked seasons. Uh, this one we're going up against uh, the Rancho Cucamonga something. I have no idea. I thought that was pretty funny when I heard the announcer say that. I have heard that a couple of times. We're also using Bob Gibson on the mound for the very first time here. I recently unlocked that card. Um, honestly forgot how I got him. I think it was just uh, grinding out that player program, uh, playing a series of moments. Oh, the Conquest. That's what it was. I was playing the Conquest about five or six games on that. But uh, I wanted to just try this Gibson out. And he pitched well in the first inning, one, two, three inning, gave up a two run shot here, had a chance to rob it there with Mike Trout. I just completely messed up the timing there on that jump. And honestly, that's where I'm uh, messing up entirely in this game is with my timing. I mean, my timing at the plate has been really inconsistent so far. We're only through, you know, the first inning and we got a double here in the top of the second. Uh, we're starting to, you know, put together a couple of good swings, but I already stranded one runner in the first inning. Had a chance to go up one nothing, and now we're down by one. We we're able to at least get one back. Uh, here we're going to chase a pitch low in the zone, hit into a double play with Carlos Correa. This is also my first game of ranked seasons with that Carlos Correa card. Uh, here we have Bob Gibson in his very first at bat. He's actually launching a double off the wall. Thought this one had a chance to go out, but as you can see, the exit velocity was just not high enough. Had a pretty good launch angle, though. Um, anyway, end up with a two out double and a chance to score him with Mickey Mantle. Hit a perfect, perfect line drive up the middle. A few good swings, but for the most part, you know, I'm sending this runner right here because I have two outs. I'm not feeling that comfortable at the plate. And the next batter is Mike Trout in the following inning. I just completely missed that change up. That was a home run pitch waiting to happen, and I completely missed it. I am also hanging some pitches. As I am uh, on defense here and just getting absolutely shelled with this Gibson so far. Not not really uh, hit around too much. I mean, we're playing on all-star. A lot more runs could be scored. But I am just struggling on the mound with uh, Bob Gibson. And I don't think it's Bob Gibson. I think it's more or less uh, my pitching ability at this time. Here we get a bad throw. Could have got this guy probably with a perfect, perfect throw. But that cost us another uh, additional run there. We're down by three. I do have more hits than the opponent, but this opponent has definitely hit the ball better than I have so far throughout this game. He's got a couple home runs. I don't have uh, any home runs. We got a couple doubles here with Fernando Tatis. That's nice to get the inning going. Now we have Cano up, and it seems like Cano is an RBI machine, especially on All-Star. He just hits a home run every single game. I've said that uh, the past few games of ranked seasons, but... Honestly, I haven't really been playing this game too much. I've I've been trying to. I've been uh, trying to get as many games of the event, as many games of ranked seasons as I can. But I have noticed uh, my ability to play the game is not as consistent as it once was. Or, I mean, as it was when I was playing this game every single day. Um, even when I was grinding against the computer, kind of messing up my timing. It just seems like, you know, taking a week off or five days off in between playing a game or even just hopping on a video game in general um, has kind of, you know, 
mess me up a little bit. And I'm not making excuses. I'm just going off of uh, things I've noticed. I, I've stranded, you know, so many runners in this game. Honestly, this game could be tied if we were able to get a couple of two out hits or a couple of big hits with two outs um, and not hang some of these pitches, right? I mean, I'm just throwing meatballs over the middle. There, Alberto Mondesi hits one out. Now we're facing Mickey Mantle. I did go to uh, the bullpen fairly early on in this game. I mean, the last game I played of ranked, it was a very high scoring game. It was like 15 to 12 or something like that. And I definitely hit better, but my bullpen was also pretty tired. I even used an extra starting pitcher in that game. So I was hoping to get a good outing from my starter in this one. And that was not the case, right? We gave up 10 runs so far. I mean, not all of them were earned on Bob Gibson. But once again, stranding more runners. Here we're going to throw the worst pitch of the entire game. Fastball right down the middle to Beirut. Just hit that one out, man. That was a, an easy home run pitch. Might as well have served it up on a tee for him. Um, but, I mean, even playing this bad, I'm still able to string together a few base hits. I still had a chance to win this game. I mean, the score doesn't really represent that. But we do have, you know, 15 hits to 15 hits. I also walked a few times in this one but i did swing at a lot of bad pitches as well so far we're in the bottom of the eighth had a chance to hit a three-run shot there completely missed that fastball literally right there i mean i just can't afford to miss those pitches and it and that includes this one i mean change up 90 miles an hour i probably swung as soon as he released it right there hit into an inning ending double play and pretty much killed my chance of uh coming back in this one now we're in the bottom of the ninth three outs remaining um but this is exactly what I'm talking about. I mean, this pitch is right down the middle. The opponent wasn't missing them, and I was, and that's really the difference of this game. I, I lost 12-6 to 6 in that one. It is what it is. If you're thinking, you know, that's karma based on your criticism of this program, well, I played that game last night, so that had nothing to do with the World Series program. I'm just thinking about everything. But anyway, that's going to do it for this video. I'm College Lefty, and I'll see you in the next one. Let me know what you think about the World Series program, or at least part one. And uh, peace out. Have a great weekend.